Okay, lastly in this intermediate modeling introduction, we're going to have a look at stairs. So you've got a stair tool up here in your home ribbon. Now, what you want to do is go to the floor that you're actually going to draw the stairs from. So I'll just move this wall over so we can... Okay, so I've clicked on my stairs. Now in the properties of the stairs, it says my base level is the ground floor, which is correct, and the top level is level one. Okay, so that's great. So I want to go from this floor and I want to take it up to level one. So you can see before I've even placed anything, it's giving me a little so um, a little preview of what's going to happen. So I've clicked once and you can see that it's moving. I can move um, the direction that my stairs are headed around, but down the bottom, importantly, it says that I've at the moment, it says seven rises created, nine remaining. So as I bring my uh, my run line along, it's adding steps to that. So if I wanted, let's just say, we'll go to about eight. Um, yeah, it's halfway. So I click and I've added eight. Now I need I can come along and I need to add. So to get to the top floor, I know that I need to add another eight more stairs. So I'll click on that and I'll bring start to bring it back this direction. There we go, lovely. So you can see now that it's giving me a shape of my stair and I can just select all of that and sort of move it over to the wall a bit if I want. You can sort of play with these lines. I can make that, that landing a bit longer or make one side of the stairs, you know, a bit wider, etc. You get to, you can sort of move these lines around, play with them until you get the shape of the stair that, that you're after. So once you've done that, always important because we're in that sketch mode again, to hit the green tick and you can see that it's telling me that my stairs are drawn. So if I go and have a look in 3D, there we go. You can see that my stairs have drawn from that ground floor that we chose up to the um, level one floor and they've modeled themselves exactly how I drew them. Um, the stairs also add a um, balustrade automatically once you draw them. Um, you can feel free to sort of delete that if you want and we'll get into have a look at balustrades later. But um, yeah, as you can see, there's stairs there with stringer. I think it's probably best these, these add um, a sort of a stringer around the edge but if, if you just want to change your um, stair I usually stick to monolithic stairs for architecture projects and what that does is it just sort of makes some nice concrete stairs you can see because we've actually changed the um, the height the, the the riser on the stair so we we've actually got to add a couple more risers to get to that top level so I'll go back to my ground floor and I'll edit that sketch and it says, yeah, I've got to create two more. One remaining. So, zero, there we go. And I'll just move the whole stair out. And finish that. Let's see what, we were, what we've got. Bring that landing back in. Okay, so let's have a look in 3D. We see now that my stair hits the top of that floor really quite nicely. Um, so that stair is like quite basic. Just take your time with them. Make sure that in your properties you selected where you're um, the, that you're going to the right floors. Now, just tell you one thing: if in your plan here, um, it's quite, this to get rid of this um, little up word here. Just un, you can uncheck all these in the properties, all these up up labels and up arrows, you know, they're pretty pointless. Uh, it's easier just to draw an arrow in yourself. Um, so there, so it puts in the brake line automatically as well. And if we go to level one, you'll be able to see that those stairs do indeed come up to that. Okay.